So first things first. <laughs> first things first. Ah. Onion facial. Hey, my name is Paul Kahn from a whole slew of restaurants in Chicago. I'm here with my new cookbook, Cooking for Good Times, Good Times, Good Times. I'm gonna demo uh, raclette from the book today. Raclette, that's the cheese, it's the maker, the cooker, the tradition. It's stinky, it's sort of a Gruyere style cheese. Uh, and the tradition comes from shepherds in the mountains in Switzerland. And what they would do is they would uh, load their pockets with potatoes, uh, roast the potatoes on the fire, and then set the cheese close to the fire. And as it burned and got caramelized and delicious, they would scrape that onto the potatoes and eat it. That's what we're doing today, but we're doing my take on it, a more modern take. The first thing you wanna do is cut the cheese in um, not too thin, not too thick slices. I like little planks. Um, for me, like I said, it's all about the burn. Um, you want to get some nice color on there. And so if it's a little thicker, uh, it'll keep its shape before it liquefies and get caramelized. It's really fun. My wife was in this horrific motorcycle accident before I met her in Le Mans in France. And uh, she convalesced in this town called Geis. And it's literally, um, it's like the Matterhorn. It's like you are up amongst the snow-capped peaks. And that's where uh, we, we, we go there, we do raclette. Uh, the first time that I went there, we got picked up at the airport. Our friend Verena had a bottle of champagne in the car. She popped it, it was 10 in the morning. So we drink champagne on our way, you know, two hours up into the mountains. And when we got there, this procession of people started to show up. And so we cooked and we drank and we cooked and we drank. And I was jet lagged, delirious, cried, laughed, fought with my wife and met all these people that my wife spent all this time with and thought, man, this is a great concept for a restaurant. And that's honestly where Avec came from. There really are no rules for raclette, but it always starts out with potatoes. In this case, we have some little Yukon Gold, some fingerlings, uh, some purple potatoes, and we're just gonna boil them until they're tender. Uh, we don't want them to fall apart, so a little texture is good. I'm gonna throw some salt in there. If you wanna splash a little olive oil or a little butter on there, it's good. Um, there's enough fat in the dish, but um, I think a little bit of butter um, is nice. Leeks, one of my favorite things, you know, the traditional French leeks vinaigrette is delicious. And I think with skirt steak, with kielbasa, really adds a little bit of crunch and a little bit of acidity, which is what we're going for. We're gonna use the white of the leek only, and then split them down the middle, and then cut them in approximately three inch sections. Doesn't really matter, it's your preference. So after the leeks have been rinsed, they go right into the boiling water. And we're gonna boil them until they're tender, approximately three to five minutes, and then into an ice water bath. Leeks can be a little bit stringy, so we're gonna, we're gonna cook that stringiness out of them. And then we're gonna dress them with a, a simple um, apple cider vinaigrette. We'll combine shallot. Always start with shallot. We'll emulsify it with Dijon mustard. Shallot kind of straddles the onion garlic line for me. Adds a lot of depth of flavor um, without being too garlicky. And then we'll add some fresh thyme leaves. We'll add some salt and pepper. It is indeed salt. Some black pepper. As soon as uh, they're not stringy anymore and still have a little bit of crunch, they go into the ice water. And remember, we're gonna put these on top of the cooker and cook them a little bit more, so um, it's okay if they're slightly undercooked. Leeks are uh, underrated, oft misunderstood, and delicious. And then we go in with our vinegar, a little bit of Dijon mustard, and then olive oil. So combining leeks, uh, cider vinaigrette, and mustard seed, and there's our leeks. So for raclette, there's a ton of different options. Uh, in fact, a world of options. You can use chicken, you can use pork, you can use beef. Um, today, we're gonna marinate a bunch of different meats and vegetables, red pepper, that we're gonna marinate with oil and vinegar, uh, a little salt and pepper just to bring out some flavor, uh, some cremini mushrooms with balsamic and garlic, skirt steak with, I call it tasty marinade number one. It's essentially a riff on like a seven seas garlic dressing. We're gonna get the garlic going for that right away. Half a cup of garlic, cover it with olive oil, and we wanna bring it up to just a light bubble. Um, if it gets a little color, that's okay. We wanna cook until the garlic's soft, probably about 10 minutes. To marinate the skirt steak, First thing we're gonna do is trim it up. And I like to think about how I'm gonna cut this into nice bite-sized portions. So I'm gonna 
slice it right up the middle. Clean off the excess fat. And after this is marinated, we'll slice it into uh, individual portions, if you will, and cook them uh, during the process on top of the raclette maker. Yeah, the beautiful thing is um, all these meats and vegetables are marinated ahead. Uh, most of the vegetables you can do the day before. Uh, the meat, a couple hours is fine, but it all goes in the fridge and you forget about it. Your guests come over, plug in the maker, pop some corks, start drinking and have a ball. It's hard to control the bubble on the garlic, so um, I just put it on and off the heat throughout the cooking process. You can bring it to a boil, it's not gonna, it's not gonna ruin anything. You'll see it will turn a light brown color and it'll be nice and soft. So I bring it up to a boil, then I push it off the burner and let it coast a little bit. So I'm gonna pull the marinade together. Tasty marinade number one. Roasted garlic and olive oil. And this stuff is nuclear. You can keep it in the fridge for honestly probably a month. Herbs de Provence, I'm not lying about the month. Red wine vinegar, a bay leaf, chili flakes. My mom used to uh, cook whitefish with Seven Seas Italian dressing. And that's where the idea for this marinade came from. She would uh, put the whitefish on a sheet tray on aluminum foil, pour the Seven Seas dressing over it, and broil it. And it's one of the best things ever. And I'm just gonna puree the crap out of this. You see all that awesome roasted garlic, chunky action. The meat's been marinating in the fridge for a few hours. Um, it can go as long as overnight. Um, you don't want to over marinate it, it'll change the texture of a little bit. And then I'm going to cut these into serving size portions. Tasty meat. So now that we've got everything prepared, it's all about the party at this point. Sit at the table, put the cooker in the middle. This is a, a Swiss Moore, it's a good brand, it's the one that I use. Before we start cooking, I like to put a little, little olive oil or neutral oil on the top. Raclette's all about the cheese, obviously. You take these little Teflon shovels and you put a piece of cheese on there. And then the element that heats from below the top will start to melt the cheese. And then you load up the top, you drink some wine. This is when the party really starts. Potatoes on the plate, some veggies. Every man and woman for themselves. Everyone sits around, you drink, um, you, you, you manage your cheese shovel. Um, you take as much or as little uh, meat as you'd like. So obviously the point is this glorious cheese and dumping it all over everything that you're eating. Don't worry about it. Some people like it nice and loose. Some people like it a little bit more well done. Um, it doesn't matter. It's cooking for good times. The best part, away she goes. It's scary, isn't it? This isn't something you do alone. Cheers. 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 For the recipe, you can click the link below. Make sure you go out and get a copy of Cooking for Good Times. Swear to God, good times, easy recipes, delicious food, right? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yay. There is no way to mess up raclette. Everything that I'm prepping goes in my mouth, so I don't think there's any preferred snacking food. <laughs>